Hey guys, Zero Nashtag here, and welcome to back to your FNAF fan games. This is a game called Chris Goes to Space. Uh, yeah. I'm pressing space. Let's see what's happening. Wazzed? Wazzed. Do I have to collect cupcakes? I think I have to collect cupcakes, so... Yeah. Do I have to dodge the pink ones? I might have to dodge the pink ones, so... I'm gonna avoid touching the... mustached pink ones. Back here, cupcake. Get back here! Fine. Asteroids! Asteroids? I have to avoid the asteroids? Okay. Wait, so does that mean I can collect the pink ones? Oh, it doesn't reset my counter. That's nice. I think. Okay, I will hit one of the pink ones just to see what happens. I did not know I had to dodge the asteroids. Pink? Oh, okay, pink ones count. Good to know. I just need to dodge asteroids. Good to know. Yo, 31, that's me. <laughs> oh dear lordy lord, asteroids are coming from everywhere. Oh, this, this is Chris in space. This little man is in space. Dodging asteroids, barely. And collecting cupcakes in space. Okay, so most of this game is just dodging. I feel like... Because I feel like eventually a cupcake's gonna just fly into Chris. Eventually. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on, uh, dodging. Oh, no, can't. Okay, now I can't. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Ah! The good thing is that the little particles can actually collect the things, too. So, yeah, if you can't tell, this is an April Fool's game. Because April Fool's is forever, whether you like it or not. Had the chance to be a better night boy on time. The rules are black and white. There's no use to try to fight it. Burn it for a love, double kill the bouquet. Uh. Yeah, this is actually kind of re relaxing though. Like compared to what I just recorded, which you're probably not gonna see for like another couple of weeks because I have to record a lot more for that video. Um, anyways, I do like the animated background though, that's nice. Although that is also why I thought that uh, the asteroids were fine to touch. They are not, they will kill you. Does this have any lore relevance to the series? Because I remember playing the other two games because uh, it was suggested to me. Actually, probably one of the only game series that was suggested to me that actually also fit the, you know, criteria of the gimmick of this uh, series. There's so many asteroids. So many. Going over here now. Ah, don't kill 
me, please. Oh, oh no, I'm being cornered. I need to go up. I need to go up. I need to go up. Okay. Okay. Now I'm now now I'm stuck. I, I'm going to get compressed. What? What? I Huh. So I uh didn't die? That huh. Well, I'm not dead, so I'm just going to keep collecting cupcakes and uh, hope that the game doesn't realize I'm supposed to be dead. What happens if I exit the... Nothing. Okay. Well, um, I think I have glitched the game. Let, yeah, I'm, I have glitched the game. Uh, I should be dead, but I'm not. It is I, Michael Afton. I should be dead, but I'm not. Well, I'm just gonna float here. Uh, my score is gone, but like, you know, score doesn't matter. Sometimes you just want to float endlessly in the abyss of space. And that's alright sometimes. Sometimes you just want to idly collect cupcakes. In the void of space with meteorites. Or are they meteors? Yeah, no, they're meteors until they enter the atmosphere, I think. Or is it the other way around? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I took a class in that specifically. Um, anyways. This is really calm. This is really nice, actually. I'm just gonna be chilling here, collecting cupcakes in space. I'm just chilling. Although I feel like this is a glitch state, uh, still very, very calm. Very nice, very calm. I'm just gonna put him right in the middle. Okay. Well, I think that's enough of this game. It's calm. It's nice. But I have other things to record. Anyways, that was uh, this game. I'm floating in space forever. Okay, bye.